Hello, hello, testing one, two, three. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Hey, everyone. Uh, welcome back to another episode of the Dreamer Podcast, and welcome back, everyone. Uh, love to love to hear you guys tuning in. My name is Kevin, like I said, in the space where we unravel the secrets about to become a better you, fitness wise or mental wise. Um, like I said, I'm your host, and I'm gonna guide you on this journey of self improvement. So today we're going to be dealing with the topic that can transform your life, atomic habits. So grab your favorite drink, find a cozy spot, and let's like let's dive in. So first, first and foremost, uh, there's this book called Atomic Habits, uh, and it's this book by James Clear. If you guys haven't read it, I definitely recommend it. Um, I'm going to send a link, uh, or I'm going to leave a link in the subscription or the bio. So that way you guys can take a look at it. I definitely recommend this book. It's one of my top 10 books of all time. I actually have done a review on this book. So you guys can check it out on my Instagram uh, account if you guys like. But this book is about atomic habits, just like the name says. Right? So in this book, uh, James Clear in his best-selling book are small consistent actions that lead to a remarkable results it's about the power of margin gains yeah a little bit of gains those tiny steps that compound over time think of it like a ripple effect in your daily life and how it can affect your future self as james clear would say it's an investment or every choice that you make is kind of an investment for your future self so understanding the atomic structures of habit, it's uh, to comprehend the magics of uh, the magic of atomic habits. Basically, we need to break them down. Habits consist of cues, routines, and rewards. So by identifying and tweaking these components, we can reshape our habits, and like being the architect of our own behaviors. Whatever habit that we do, anything that we do is going to be. Um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be recorded by our actions basically it's all going to be affected by our mini actions that we do so if you decide to have a pizza today you know that's going to have a ripple effect in your future self if you that's if you decide to eat a healthier meal knowing something that's going to be good for you it's going to have a ripple effect a positive ripple effect in your future just with anything else um, anything that you choose in life everything's about choices in life right so it's about making those small choices that's going to be beneficial for your future. So uh, let's understand atomic structure of habits. To comprehend the magic of atomic habits, we need to break them down. And basically habits consist of cues, routines, and rewards. By identifying the, and tweaking these components, we can reshape our habits. And it's like being the architect of our own behavior. So uh, next, it's about the domino effect of consistency. You're not going to get anywhere without consistency. You can be, you can go work out five times a day, or not five times a day, five times a week, and then completely stop for the next ten days. You're not gonna, you're not gonna see no progress. Versus someone who consistently works out five times per week for a month, versus someone who works out five times. Uh, one week, you know, works out five times a week for one week in a month. And that's not going to be enough, right? So you got to take that in consideration. And the domino effect of consistency, like I said, yeah, ever wonder how one small habit can trigger a cascade of positive changes? It's a domino effect, of course. By focusing on mastering one's uh, habit at a time, we can set a chain reaction in motion. Today, I'll share real-life examples of how that small changes can lead into big transformations. So let's take uh, dieting, for example. So let's not even take a positive. Let's, let's just take a negative, a negative example. I, myself, constantly eat, and I have a bad habit of doing this. I love chips. I love hot chips. I don't know why. But they're just so damn addictive. Anytime I choose to invest into 
that negative um, I mean it's not so much negative but it is negative once you do it for a consistently uh, a long time once you invest into having having that amount uh, for a very long time you know it's just gonna have a ripple effect you're just not gonna feel well overall your behavior your energy your energy levels uh, even your health uh, you know it's just gonna downward spiral it's not gonna be good for you that's what I'm trying to say take a positive look so I could take the positive look and eat healthier choices for example fruits vegetables and that's gonna have a ripple effect in my near future a positive one so that's what I mean whenever we take a uh, take a look at negative and positive uh, votes for our future self we may not see the benefits at the moment but you know it's gonna be who um, are going to see those benefits in the future, in near in the near future or far future? It's really up to it. All just depends. So overcoming the plateaus, and trust me, we're all been there. The plateaus is where it feels like all of our efforts are yielding results, and atomic habits are like the secret weapon against stagnation. We explore uh, strategies to negative thoughts, plateaus, keeping them in momentum alive. So we just got to keep going, no matter what. We got to keep pushing, uh, keep going, no matter what. And eventually we're going we're gonna to get there. And I'm just going to give you some practical tips for these atomic uh, formations. So let's get practical. I'll share uh, actionable tips to kickstart your atomic habits journey. From habit stacking to the two-minute rule. These techniques can revolutionize and um, yeah, it can revolutionize the way you approach uh, your personal development. So get ready to implement positive changes. One small habit at a time. How are we gonna do that? Well, I'll leave it up to you. You just gotta read the book. I'll just leave it up to that. You really gotta read the book. Listeners, do you have any questions or insights? Um, Lately, I've been asking the people around me to share their questions and insights on what their thoughts about habits are. Lately, the answer that I said uh, that I have been hearing is, you know, I don't really pay attention much to to the habits that I give or that I do. We don't really give much thought about it. Why? Because it's just not very. Um, Oh, how can I say it? It's not very, um, we don't really think about it. That's the word. We don't really think about it. We're, we're usually looking for our comfort zone. Our comfort zone is where we feel the most comfortable, right? So like I said, usually the answer that I would get is I don't really think about it that much and haven't put too much thought into it. And that's a problem. We don't really give much thought about our habits and our investment into our future selves. So we got to make sure that we acknowledge that we, we, that we acknowledge the bad habits, whether that's smoking, whether that's uh, eating junk food, whether that's the toxic relationships or that's the toxic uh, habits that we have. We got to acknowledge them, know that there is a solution, seek for help. <laughs> Yeah, seek for help. Try to look for help and take accountable for it. Take some accountability. Take some action into to try to break those bad habits. That's as uh that's as big as um that's a big of an action that we can do. And also celebrate the wins, big or small. And just before we uh wrap up, I wanted to celebrate your wins, whether it's uh completing a week of consistent habits or achieving a major goal. Your victories matter. So, um, in your comments, you know, share your success stories. Little things. I don't care. I'll read them. I'll give you a shout out. So, let's inspire each other to keep building those atomic habits. And basically, in conclusion, uh, that brings us to our end of today's episode of uh, Atomic Habits. And, um, yeah, just remember the small changes that lead into significant outcomes. If you enjoyed today's content, don't forget to subscribe, share, or leave a comment or a review. Feedback fuels our growth over this podcast. Until next time, 
So let's uh, convey into the powerful Atomic Habits. This is uh, Kevin Tanya now. Thank you guys so much. Have a good one.